You're watching Hot Walk Academy. My name is Ming Jin Tong. Thanks so much for watching. Today, we're going to make a tofu, which is actually a bean curd sheet and pickled mushroom salad. If you like watching, please subscribe and share. And of course, like the video. Let's cook. Okay, so this is a great vegetarian dish full of protein and a lot of flavor. So uh, let me walk through our ingredients real quick. So what I've got here, this is actually bean curd sheets. Now you can find this product at your local Asian grocery store and you might wonder what exactly is it? So if you can imagine a large vat of soy milk and if you warm it up and just kind of let it sit, what's gonna happen is all the proteins are gonna float to the top and they're gonna kind of coagulate. And what they do is they take like a rod and they scrape that sheet of protein off. And what you get is essentially a sheet of protein that's been folded and dried. So what I did to prepare this, because it comes hard and dry in a bag at the grocery store, all you really want to do is simmer it in just plain water until it softens all the way through. Now, some of these pieces... Um, are really uh, kind of homogenous, the same thickness all the way through. And some of them can be kind of tough in the center and the edges might get super soft. Don't worry about that. When you boil them, make sure you boil it all the way through so that the center is nice and tender. You shouldn't have hard pieces there. When you're done boiling, you can soak them in cold water to stop the cooking process. And now they're ready to be added to our salad. These things are just packed with protein. Uh, and again, it is a, uh, a sheet of soy milk protein. Um, so very, very similar to a tofu product. So that's that product there. I've also got just some baby bellas that I'm going to pickle here. And of course, I've got some um, green onion and some cilantro that will add in to give it that herbaceous, fresh taste at the end. For my marinade, for my um, mushrooms, I'm going to be using fish sauce as well as tamari, a gluten-free soy, and some vinegar, of course. And then to finish off my salad, I'm going to finish it with some sesame oil, sprinkle a little bit of salt. So let's make our brine first so we'll be ready for our mushrooms. What we'll do is we will take fish sauce. Now, remember, this brine is not going to be a dressing on the salad. Uh, this brine is going to be something that we soak our mushrooms in. So we're going to add actually a little bit, quite a bit of fish sauce. Now, if you ever use fish sauce, you know that's a lot of fish sauce, okay? But we're doing this really just to marinate our mushrooms. I'm also going to add some soy, or excuse me, some tamari. And this tamari is going to bring a lot of that sodium in. So that salt is going to be brought in by the mushrooms, kind of a... Um, kind of a salty flavor there. And then quite a bit of vinegar to give it a quick pickle. I like to label my bottles so I always know what it is that I'm using. You might want to do the same at home. And then just to give a little bit of more volume, I'm going to add some water. Now I can add water because I've added so much other salty, flavorful, and sour ingredients. So the water is going to be okay. And that's just to help cover uh, all of our mushrooms. And let's go ahead and cut up our mushrooms. Now, as you know, this salad, these pieces are really big and thick. And I want my mushroom to essentially match the same. So let's go ahead and I think I'm just going to quarter, um, maybe sixth my mushrooms. I want a lot of that surface area open so that my mushrooms can soak up that brine. I want them to be really pickled well. These are just fresh mushrooms. I did wash them. All right, nice and firm. Now, um, you can use really any mushroom you want. Uh, one of my friends who is a chef, uh, he used beech mushrooms for a pickled mushroom recipe. It turned out really, really well. You could do that as well. This mushroom is super fat. I'm just gonna cut it a little bit more. Mushrooms are so versatile and they have so much actually water in them. When you pickle them, uh, again, it's like a sponge. It'll pickle pretty quickly. 
because it'll pick up all of that flavor from your brine very, very fast. Oops. All right, let's get them into a mixing bowl. And here comes our brine. And I, I do want it to pretty much sit and soak and make sure that all that flavor gets soaked up there. So I'm going to take my hand, just get it mixed around. And you'll actually notice that because of the salt content, it'll act, the mushrooms will get real soft really fast. And they will take on the flavor of your brine very, very quickly. Now, remember, this brine is not your dressing. So you will strain these mushrooms out later to add them to your salad. So I'm going to let these sit. While they sit here, let's go ahead and get our herbs chopped up. So we're just going to do kind of a rough chop. There's nothing really special. We just want to have some greens in here. Um, but also you don't want it too big. You know, you could just kind of do a small chop on your cilantro. All right. And let's get that right in. Same thing for our green onions. Pinch them together so they don't run away when they get chopped. All right. All right, let's get these in as well. Now, before we dress the salad, we want to make sure that our mushrooms are fully pickled. So, um, again, you saw the marinade. It's quite a bunch of strong ingredients. Let's go ahead and let these sit for at least 10 minutes and we'll be back. Okay, so it's been 10 minutes and let me talk about these mushrooms now. You can see the color has changed a lot. In other words, the mushroom, like a sponge, has soaked up our brine. And in addition to that, they've actually gotten softer, which is what I'm looking for. Uh, when you let your mushroom sit, it, the hard edges from your knife work, they're going to disappear. So these mushrooms now are really, really uh, soaked up. And let's have, let's just have a bite here. What am I looking for? Yeah. Oh, that's really good. <laughs> I want to taste that tamari. I want to have the funk and the saltiness from the fish sauce. And of course, because it is a pickle, I want to have that vinegary taste and i've got all those really strong so what i want to do let's go ahead and um take these and i just want to drip them out and i'm gonna add them right to my salad i feel like i could eat all these mushrooms at once now here's a little trick that i learned from my uh my friend trevor who is a chef this mushroom brine, you can actually keep using it. And as you add more mushrooms, it's going to get more and more mushroom flavored, which is really a great thing. All right, a little bit of salt that I want to add um, because I don't have really any salt on my uh, bean curd at all. So add that in there. And then I'm going to do some sesame oil to give it that really fragrant um, smell. And let's go ahead and mix that all together now. So this is going to be the end now of our pickled mushrooms with the um, tofu skin or bean curd skin with our onion and cilantro mixed together. Now, the onion and cilantro, when they sit, they are also going to release a lot of that aromatic herbaceous flavor. And you can let this sit. And um, I think actually this is one of those tastes better the next day kind of things. Um, if you let it sit, it'll really be a great flavor. All right, let me get that poured out for you so you can see it. Again, this is just going to be absolutely packed with protein, lots and lots of flavor from our tamari and our fish sauce, and of course, uh, those greens are going to add just a great 
herbaceous flavor at the end. All right, give that a try. Let us know what you think. And again, please subscribe and share. And thanks so much for watching.